Before we start this video, I have to apologize for the quality of my microphone right now. It's because my professional headphones with the good quality microphone is kind of broken and I have to use the new headphones which is middle quality. So yeah, sorry for that. Anyways, enjoy the video. Ah great, this is the greatest time to check the cost. 69 f***ing volts on a real voice. You have to be f***ing kidding me. Hello guys, today's video will be about comparing the cars in the game BMG Drive. And this is the first video to be somewhat serious and with my real voice. But if you don't like it, I'll switch it back to TTS voice. Anyway, this is the first video to compare cars and I choose two cars to compare. The Ibishu Covet, the car that comes with the game, and the ETKA series, a community mod made by Naked. Firstly, I will give a score who did it better than other car. After all of these comparisons, we will count all of these scores and then we choose the winner who did it more. And those who lose will get destruction punishment. And let's go to the things we will compare here. First, we will compare amount of built-in configurations of each car and then we will give a score who has more of them. Second, the design, quality and my opinion on it. And the car that did it better will get a score. Third, the engines. If one car has one or more big engine options, it will get a score. Fourth, the driving experience on two types of roads, asphalt and dirt. The car that did it better and without any problems will get a score. Fifth, the crash test. If one car did it with nice looking deformations and more detachable parts, it will get a score. And sixth, the last survival test, same as crash test, but if the car will survive after the front head, it will get a score. Hope you understand them all, let's start the comparison. Ok, let's start with the first comparison. The Ibishu Covet has 16 configurations, and the TK A series has 32 configurations, and A series wins this comparison. The second comparison is design of each car. The Ibishu Covet's design tries to be similar to Honda Civic, the third generation to be exact. The seats look comfortable, and dashboard looks good, and I love the steering wheel that it has. But it has a place where it is very questionable, such as this cable that's connected to nothing. I do like the design of it, and it feels very original to the game. Each K A series design tries to look like the first generation of Volkswagen Golf. The seats look very good and comfortable and the dashboard is brilliant, and I like the steering wheel and the gauge cluster. It is very detailed and very clean, and I do like it too, but I prefer to the Bishu car because of more in Japanese cars. And both cars gets a score. The engines. The Bishu Covet has 4 engines, and the only one that's big is 2 liter engine from a Pesima. Meanwhile, the ETK A series has 8 engines, and the big one is the 2.8 liter VR6 engine. And yet again, A series wins this comparison. Okay, driving the Bishu carpet on an asphalt road. And the only thing I can actually say here is that it drives actually great. The acceleration is good, the steering is good, the gauge cluster is not lying to me, and everything is like normal. That's actually gone dirt because one. Dirty, uh. <laughs> oh god, it's so bad. Driving on the road, full of dirt. I can't say it's bumpy, but it feels like the same on a normal asphalt road or something. But I'm not sure about that actually, because it can be different a bit. But it still feels the same. I mean, I like this thing on the dirt. I really like it. Okay, we are on the same road, a different car, the ETK A series, and the acceleration is very slow compared to carbon. It's automatic, but it the same thing you can actually say with the manual transmission one. 
It's so freaking slow. I mean, it kind of feels fast, but the acceleration is freaking slow. But, but it steers the same as the car, which is already good. But I hate actually that. Oh, here we go. It's switching really badly. After all, it's a really cheap car compared to carbon, which is somewhat cheap but with a really good quality. Alright, let's go on a dirt. Okay, driving on a dirt road. And it feels kind of more bumpy than on a carpet, but I guess it's because on a carpet I did actually speed up here and it makes it like very comfortable to drive here. But this one is like feels really bumpy. Oh freaking hell. Brakes are a bit not so, but maybe it's actually my reasons. I'm not so good at driving. After all, I didn't actually drive it too much of a A series, especially when it's just released. But uh, I mean, it, it's good to drive it. On a, on a dirt road, I mean. It's kind of relaxing actually, but it's still really slow. Anyways, let's back to the score thing, whatever it is. As for me, Ibishu Covet seems to be better than the ETK A series. So, one score goes to Covet. Okay, crash testing the Ibishu Covet. Let's freaking go. Okay, what I can actually say. Firstly, I hear the suspension sounds meaning bouncing for some reason I, mean, I, I really hit it really hard so it makes bumping into itself but the damages are look like normal it's not like very normal but at least legit for a vanilla car at least and I like it actually I mean I like really Anyways, let's go to the ETK A series. And here's the ETK A series. Let's go. Okay, I see that uh, it damages like the same as the cover, but even more detailed. The front is not detached oh wait a second look at this look at this I like this right now the front is fully detachable I mean look at this it's not like uh, legit to do it right now but, but uh, to just look at it it's really good just look at the front it's really detachable even the front bumper support is detachable as well. Look at this. I really like this thing. Covid gets one score and A series gets two because of the front detachable parts. Okay, the last survival test, which is pretty much the same as the crash test, but the only difference is the if the car survives it's going to get score. Okay, let's actually do it in a car. Cover them in. Whatever. Well, it's actually not driving anymore, but the engine survived. This is really good. 
Let's go to the HKA series. And here we are in the HKA series. Let's go. Okay, the car survives and it still drives. This is actually amazing. It still drives, it's so freaking funny looking. Oh my god. It's still driving. I'm impressed. Oh my god. Both cars get one score, but I'm impressed with the A series. And because this is the last comparison on this list, we need to actually look at the scores and guess which one is the winner. And you probably already guessed it, it's of course the A series. And because the cover is a loser, well, what if we'll get? Maybe not rubber dancing to the till death? No, it's a bad idea, it's a, it's a shit. I have this. Gabriel B series. A truck that's made for off-roading. And kidding cars like this. Let's go. Let's start the engine. America! Fuck yeah. Nobody. No freaking body. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The fuel tank exploded in this thing. I love it. Okay, it looks dead already. I mean, the engine is still going to start up, but the fuel tank is going to... I mean, look at the body, it's not that recoverable or something. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching, and you probably enjoyed this video. If not, why are you staying here? Anyway, you're probably already choosing the car for your probably best configs or something. And see you soon! Oh my f***ing god, lights. I'm just recording this in 3am and I literally finished the video in 3am. I'm so f***ing dead. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Bye.